This is Morning Motivation for Educators on the Bee Podcast Network. Learn about all the shows at bpodcastnetwork.com. You'll hear from a variety of formal and informal educators who help put this podcast together. If you'd like to contribute your voice to the show, please go to morningmotivationedu.com to apply. Good morning, my friends. I am Candace Noss, a physical therapist, a wellness coach, a lifelong Christian, a mother of six, and I created my business, the Mind, Body, Spirit Trifecta, where I liberate, enlighten, and empower others to elevate their mind, body, and spirit and own their divine greatness. Friends, it's Christmas time, my favorite time of the year. I am so thankful for tons of things today. Black Friday sales, lights, Christmas music, especially Pentatonix and Eclipse 6. They are surely my favorite. Online shopping, UPS that delivers right to my front door, kids that decorate for me, Hallmark Christmas movies, friends that share good deals, the energy and giving of sharing, so many beautiful things about Christmas time. I love it. Today, I'm going to focus this Thankful Thursday message on how grateful I am for the power and choice we have to believe. I've had the question of, what are you going to choose to believe? Come up so many times this past week with clients, with my friends. I felt prompted to share how grateful I am for the ability and skill to purposefully choose what I will believe about God, about myself, and about others, and what I will intentionally reject. One of the cold hard facts of life is this. No one can truly, effectively, sustainably fill our cup except for us. We must fill our own cup. Sure, it's nice when we receive a compliment or we feel God witnessing his love to us, But unless we are already ready to believe the good things about ourselves, we will shrug these things off and dismiss them. For example, if your spouse tells you how beautiful and radiant you look, but you're in the rut of negative self-talk where you believe that you're ugly and overweight and gross and you won't, if you're feeling crappy about yourself, then you will never accept the compliment. You might tell yourself, oh, he's just trying to make you feel better. He's just lying. He just wants something. He just can't see it right. He's not a good judge. And we go on and on and on, making all sorts of excuses about why the compliment that we were given isn't true. If you're in the habit of hearkening to that dark voice of discouragement, distraction, and deception, selling you on thoughts like, you are failing, you are worthless, you are never enough, and on and on and on. If you're in the habit of listening to that voice, then when you pray and fast and yearn for God to testify to you that you are loved and special, and then if you receive a special witness, if you don't believe that you are worthy or worth of much, then you will dismiss even the beautiful spiritual experiences you receive. So it's vital to understand what do you believe about yourself? What do you believe about God? What do you believe about others? Is it serving you? A belief is just a thought that we have continued to think over and over again. Our brain loves to be right. It loves to prove every thought that is in our brain true. So when we think a thought and we continue to think that thought, our incredible brain goes to work bringing us evidence that this thought is true. As we continue to think the thought and nurture the seed, our brain continues to bring us evidence time and time again that this is true until the thought has taken deep root and now it seems true. However, beliefs really just are thoughts. And if you think about it, that's the best news ever because thoughts are optional. If a belief doesn't serve you, remember it's just a thought and you can work to uproot and get rid of it. Thoughts are not facts and believing positive or negative things is our choice. My challenge for you this Christmas season is to examine what do you believe? Examine what you believe about God, what you believe about yourself, what you believe about others. Once you identify beliefs and thoughts, ask yourself the golden question, is this serving me? As you watch the wonder and awe of children who believe in Santa Claus, remember and recognize that beliefs truly are optional and also beliefs are very, very powerful. 
Choose to believe the best about yourself. Constantly choose to believe the best about God and make a concerted effort to believe the best about others. Despite evidence to the contrary or overwhelming difficulties and trials, it is your power and privilege to use your gift of agency to purposefully choose self-belief. Remember the truth, you are designed for greatness and that which you focus on expands. Whatever you choose to think, your brain will find evidence for. Intentionally choose to fill your own cup by building yourself up. Decide to believe in your God-given strengths, talents, aptitudes, gifts, capacities, missions, purpose. Focus on the good. Land your thoughts in self-belief. Work to continually realign your thoughts to generate faith, love, gratitude, grace, abundance, curiosity, excitement, determination, confidence, high vibe emotions. We can want the love, attention, support, and recognition from others, but we can't need it. Filling our own cup is our job. If we depend on others to fill our cup, our worth becomes conditional and dependent on what others think. We become a victim of other people's thoughts, feelings, and actions instead of taking ownership for our own self-belief. I know intimately the depths of despair associated with depression. I understand the downward spiral leading to the lowest of lows. The way to recovery starts with simple, but not easy, but simple choice to reject the thoughts that do not serve you. Even if these thoughts seem true, decide instead to purposefully believe, I am a beloved daughter of heavenly parents with a divine nature and an eternal destiny. I am designed for greatness. I am special and important. As you continue to think these thoughts, your brain will go to work finding evidence for them, proving them that they are true. You develop self-belief by intentionally thinking thoughts that build you up. So when you see your reflection, fill your own cup. Give yourself compliments. Be your own cheerleader, your biggest supporter. High five yourself in the mirror each morning and stay committed to up-leveled mirror talk. The choice is yours over which thoughts you will hearken to. Your brain will be flooded with all sorts of thoughts from all different sources. You get to decide which thoughts to nurture by continuing to think them and which ones you will reject. No one else can do this for you. It is up to you to become the boss of your brain. It is your power and privilege to choose which thoughts you will believe. And it is my hope that you land in the powerful place of self-belief, firmly aligning your thoughts and your mind with Christ. Have a beautiful holiday season. Thank you for joining me today and for being part of my journey. I believe in you, and I'm truly thankful for you. If you'd like more from me, grab my free video about taking your self-talk from crappy to happy. I'd love for you to join my Thankful Thursday email, and I invite you to listen to and subscribe to my podcast called Designed for Greatness with Candace Noss. Links are all in the show notes. And whatever role you have in education, we have a podcast for you at bepodcastnetwork.com. Who among your friends and colleagues needs to hear this message today? Please share it with them right now.